Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. How are you feeling? All right. So after four rounds of really exciting competition, we are about to start round five. And left on the stage, we have ten fantastic spellers. Okay. Ready to start? Awesome. Okay. Number one. Your word is Osprey. Osprey. O S P R E Y. Osprey. Correct. Number six. Your word is Ermen. Can I have the definition? Yes. Any of several weasels that assume white winter fur, usually with more or less black on the tail. Can I have the origin? Yes. This word is from an originally Germanic word that became French before becoming English and was influenced by a Latin-derived French geographical name. Can I have it in a sentence? Yes. Despite the outcry of animal activists, the fine fur of the ermen is still used for ornamentation of some designer clothing. Uh, can you repeat the definition? Ermen. Ermen. E R M I N. Ermen. The correct spelling is E R M I N E. Number seven. Your word is Pavlova. Pavlova, P A V L O V A, Pavlova? Correct. Number eight. Your word is panache. Can I have the origin? Yes. This word is from a Latin word that became Italian and then French. Can I have the definition, please? Dash or flamboyance in style and action. Swagger. Verve. Can you repeat the word? Panache. Pinoche, P I N O. The correct spelling is P A N A C H E. Number 10. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is miasma. Miasma, can I have the definition? Yes. A heavy, vaporous emanation or atmosphere. Miasma. M-I-A-S-M-A. -A -A. Miasma. Correct. Number 13. This word has a homonym. Your word is eminent. Um, can I have the definition, please? Conspicuous. Noteworthy. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The National Cathedral is a building of eminent beauty. Eminent. Can you repeat the word? Eminent. Eminent. E M I N E N T. Eminent. Correct. 
Number 16. Your word is incinerate. Can you use in a sentence? People who fear identity theft often incinerate or shred their mail after reading it. Incinerate. I N C I N E R A T E. Incinerate. Correct. Number 17. Your word is undergird. Can I have the definition, please? To brace up, strengthen, support. Kind of the part of speech? Verb. Undergird. U-N-D-E-R-G-I-R-D. Correct. Number 22. Your word is lexicon. Lexicon, can I have the definition? The vocabulary of a language, of an individual speaker, of a set of documents, of a body of speech, of a subject, or of an occupational or other group. Can I have a sentence? Yes. Margot's dad says that he can't understand most of the lexicon used by teenagers these days. Lexicon, L-E-X-I-C-O-N, lexicon. Correct. Number 24. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is conference. Can you please use it in a sentence? Khalid submitted a proposal to speak at an interactive technology conference. C-O-N-F-R-E-N-C-E, -E, conference. The correct spelling is C-O-N-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E. All right, back up to number one. Your word is jitney. What is the language of origin? This word is of unknown origin. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Newt took a jitney from the airport to his office. Can I have the definition? Yes. A small bus designed to carry paying passengers over a regular route according to a flexible schedule. Jitney, G-I-T-N-E-Y. The correct spelling is J-I-T-N-E-Y. Number seven. Your word is hasten. Can you use it in a sentence? After a disaster, organizations often hasten relief in affected areas by working together. Hasten. H-A-S-T-E-N, hasten. Correct. Number 10. Your word is yuzu. Can you repeat the word? Yes. Yuzu. Yuzu? Mm -hmm. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Japanese. Yuzu. Can I have the definition? 
a green or yellow aromatic citrus fruit whose acidic rinds and juice are often used in Japanese cuisine. Yuzu. Yuzu, yuzu. The correct spelling is Y-U-Z-U. You're number 13. Your word is bursary. Can you repeat the word, please? Yes. Bursary. Can I have the definition, please? A sum of varying amounts granted to a needy student at a British college or university. Can you repeat the word, please? Bursary. Um, can, I have def can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Harry was awarded a bursary following his excellent performance on the university entrance exam. Bursary, B-U-R-S-E-R-Y, bursary. The correct spelling is B-U-R-S-A-R-Y. Number 16, your word is engineer. Can you use in a sentence? The chief engineer and his team designed a flood control plan for the city. Engineer, E-N-G-I-N-E-E-R, engineer. Correct. Number 17. Your word is dynamite. Dynamite. D I N O M I T E. The correct spelling is D Y N A M I T E. All right, number twenty-two. Your word is niche. Niche. Can I have the definition? Yes. A place, condition of life or employment, or position suitable for the capabilities or merits of a person, or qualities of a thing. Can I have the language of origin? Yes. This word came from French, which probably formed it from a Latin word. Niche. N-I-C-H-E. Niche. Correct. Round seven, okay. I believe we are number seven. This word has a homonym. Your word is foe. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Chris bought a jacket lined in faux fur to keep him warm in the winter. Fo, F-A-U-X, Fo. Correct. Number 16. Your word is stipulate. Can you use it in a sentence? Many corporations that allow employees to telecommute also stipulate the working hours and equipment to be used. Stipulate. S-T-I-P-U-L-A-T-E. Stipulate. Correct. Number 22. Your word is divvy. Divvy. Can I have the definition? Yes. To divide or distribute among a number. Can I have a sentence? Rather than argue, Zeta and Lori decided to divvy up the last piece of cake. Can you repeat the word? Divvy. Divvy. D-I-V-V-Y. Divvy. Correct. Round eight. All 
All right, number seven. Your word is derisive. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Layla couldn't stand the derisive attitude of the news commentator, so she changed the channel. Can I have the definition? Expressing or characterized by mockery or scorn. Derisive. Mm -hmm. D. R. No. D. I. R. I. S. I. V. The correct spelling is D. E. R. I. S. I. V. E. All right, number sixteen. Your word is wharf. Can you use in a sentence? Yes. As the freighter docked at the wharf, workers were waiting to unload its cargo. Wharf. W H A R F. Wharf. Correct. Twenty two. Your word is carriage. Carriage, can I have the definition? A horse-drawn vehicle designed for private use and for comfort or elegance. Can I have a sentence? Cinderella's carriage was a pumpkin that her fairy godmother had transformed to take her to the ball. Carriage, C-A-R-R. I A G E carriage. Correct. Okay. Your word is word monger. Can you use in a sentence? When Violet accused Noel of being a word monger. He said she was just a pusillanimous flagahon. <laughs> Can you have a definition, please? <laughs> yes, one that uses words for show or without enough regard for the meaning. Wordmonger, W O R D M O N G E R, wordmonger. Correct. Twenty-two. Your word. Uh, this word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is assumption. Assumption. Can I have the definition? Something that is taken for granted. A supposition. Can I have the etymology? This word is from a Latin word that became English. Assumption. A S S U. M P T I O N assumption. Correct. All right. This word has a homonym. Your word is spurlunker. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Mm hmm. Though not an avid spelunker, Clay did enjoy going caving occasionally. Can I have a definition? Yes. One who makes a hobby of exploring and studying caves. Can you repeat the word? Spelunker. Spelunker. 
S P E L U N K E R, Spelunker. Correct. All right, 22. Your word is electrode. And I have the definition. This word consists of a Greek, oh, sorry, read the wrong part. I apologize. A conductor as a metallic substance or carbon used to establish electrical contact with a non-metallic portion of a circuit. Electrode. E L E C T R O D E. Electrode. Correct. Mm -hmm. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is transmontane. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The transmontane grass simply isn't always greener. Can I have a definition? Yes. Lying or, beyond, uh, lying or being beyond any mountains coming from the other side of the mountains. Can you repeat the word? Transmontane. Okay. Language of origin. This word is from Tanjusic, an Altaic language of Northern Asia. Transmontane, T-R-A-N-S-M-O-N-T-A-I-N, transmontane. The correct spelling is T-R-A-N-S-M-O-N-T-A-N-E. Well done for going so far. Okay. Your word is, oh, this word has a homonym. Your word is pikas. Can you repeat the word? Pikas. Can I have the definition? Mm -hmm. Any of various small lagomorph mammals inhabiting rocky parts of high mountains in Asia and Western North America that are closely related to the rabbits, but have small round ears, a rudimentary tail, and relatively short hind legs. Can you say the word? I mean, repeat the word. Yes. Pycas. Pycas, can I have the language of origin? Yes. Just a minute.
-hmm. Yes. As I was giving Lillian's word, I misread a particular um, request from her word. So we are going to throw out both words for the spellers and restart with Lillian with a new word. I apologize. Okay. Your word is. Rangeur. Can I have a sentence, please? Yes. And this time I will have my finger right there. <laughs> Dr. Lantok discovered that the blades of his rangeur had not been sharpened before the surgery. Can I, can I have a definition, please? Yes. A heavy duty forceps for removing small pieces of bone or tough tissue. What is the language of origin? This word came from French, which probably formed it from a Latin word. Can you repeat the word? Rangeur. R-O-N-G-C-H-U-R-E. The correct spelling is R-O-N-G-E-U-R. -E well done. Okay, Dave. Dev. Your, Dev, sorry, yeah. Dev. All right, your word is? Immissible. Immissible, can I have the definition? Yes. Not capable of mixing or being mixed. Unable to blend. Immissible. I M M I S. Can I start over in the same order? Speller wants to start over. Is that allowed? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I M M I S C I B L E. Immissible. Correct. It's correct, so does he win this? He got a championship word, okay. Ready? All right, this word has a homonym. Your word is crew. Crew, can I have the definition? A private organization staging festivities as parades and balls during Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Crew, K-R-E-W-E, -E, crew. Correct. Congratulations. Once again, on behalf of Visit Central Florida, the Central Florida Sports Marketing, we're thrilled. The city of Haines City, ABC Action News. Let's give him a hand one more time. Let's give our champion another hand. All right, how about that? How exciting was that, huh? That was unbelievable. Dev Shaw, congratulations, my friend. Good job. You getting all the hardware here? We got a brand new car for you, right? No, I'm just kidding. Next year, next year. Uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Here, come over here to the, the, the middle part a bit. How are you feeling right now? Excited. You're excited? That's your excited face? You should be like, woo! Oh, I, I'm curious, a lot of us are, um, who are not nearly as good a speller as you are. When you're up here and you hear the words, how do you go through a word? Uh, just ask the definition first. And then if you still have trouble figuring out the word, just ask the pronouncer to, uh, for a sentence. If you still can't figure it out, then just ask for the 
to repeat the word. If you can't still answer, just ask for the um, etymology and just use all of that to guess. I like that. You spend your time up here. That's what I was saying earlier. Hang out for a while, get comfortable, you know? Um, were there any words that uh, were particularly troublesome for you? I mean, you, you won the whole thing, but was there ever a time where you're like, oh, I'm not sure about this one? Mm. Crew. Crew, the championship word. I know crew because we have uh, Gasparilla, and I always have to cover all these Gasparilla crews. And when I heard you with that K, I'm like, oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it now. That's exciting. So you get to go to the Scripps Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. And we're all going to write? How about that? How excited are you for that? A lot excited. Huh? Very excited. Yeah. Have you been to D.C. before? Yeah. Yeah. You going to bring home the, uh, the championship for us? Yes, yes. Maybe. Yeah, you yeah. are. Right. And then we'll have a big party right here. Can we get a, Debbie, we'll have a big party if he wins the whole thing, right? Yeah. All your friends are invited. Oh, Morgan's invited. Definitely. There you go. Well, listen, congratulations on everything. That was amazing. One more time for Dev Shaw, your uh, Central Spelling Bee champ. Good job, buddy. Good job.